Hi everybody, I'm doing this video because I've had a great question come in from David. David has asked me, what is the difference between a Bayesley long turn um, and someone doing GS turns through regular gates? And in my opinion, there are four kind of key differences between uh, a Bayesley candidate and someone who is uh, racing. And the four things I've kind of come up with are criteria, so a level four or level one candidate or any candidate really um, is training towards or trying to achieve a certain criteria. Whereas a ski racer isn't necessarily trying to achieve a certain criteria other than trying to ski fast. Um, the next three points I want to look at, which we'll look at in a little bit more detail shortly, is, is the basic candidate trying to carve throughout the whole turn or not? And equally the same for a ski racer. The next thing is, is the line the same for a basic candidate as a ski racer? And also um, for the uh, ski instructor is the body management side. And that's how you stand on the skis. Is it the same to a ski racer as a candidate, as a Bayesley candidate or, or not? So initially we're going to look at the Bayesley criteria and to get a general look, we're going to look at level one and level four criteria. So initially we're going to look at the level one. So we've, we've got here, the first thing you're kind of working towards is um, cleanly carving the last two thirds of a turn for a level one candidate, um, no traversing on blue terrain, and understanding how to use effective posture and balance. Now, level four technical criteria for long turns, slightly different, cleanly carving throughout the whole arc on a black run or on a steep red, being able to influence the arc of the turn while still carving and using effective posture and balance. Now, how that is different from ski racing, primarily initially what we're looking at here is when a ski racer is skiing a course, they're not necessarily trying to carve throughout the whole turn. They're just trying to take the most direct line of least resistance, which might mean that on some turns they're gonna drift and then carve. So they're not trying to carve throughout the whole turn. So first of all, that's quite a major difference between basic um, kind of criteria and um, racing. The next area we're gonna look at is the line, the line the skiers are making. So first of all, we're gonna look at um, the, the line a Bayesley candidate would make if they are a level one candidate. So what we're looking at here is they were maybe they're aiming to leave two clean lines for the last two thirds of the turn, but with no traverse. Level four, different again, being able to leave two clean lines in the snow, but influence in the arc. So both of these statements really are relating to maintaining a constant speed. So you're not accelerating throughout the run. Whereas a ski racer is going to be very different. On each gate, they're trying to generate speed, building speed from one turn to the next and throughout the whole run. So quite a big difference there. The next area to look at is body management. And when, a, when we're looking at the Bayesley criteria, first of all, looking at level one, it talks about does the level one candidate have an understanding of how to use effective posture and balance? For the level four, it's, are they using effective posture and, balance, posture and balance? So whether they are showing these things. Now you compare that to racing. If they're out of balance and their posture is a bit out of shape, but they're still going quick, it doesn't matter. So again, we've got huge differences here. So the more important thing as a ski racer is you're carrying speed and going as quickly as you can, not necessarily having good posture and balance. I hope this has answered your question, David, and um, I hope you found this very interesting. He's asked me what the difference is between... I can't have her doing that in the background. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm right... No, I'm not.